The 2023 Paris Air Show was another essential step in Boeing's continued effort to certify their upcoming 7779, part of the broader 777X series. Now, we're inching closer and closer to its eventual certification. While still lengths away, encouraging clouds surround the program for the first time in years after storms have really impacted the jet. These lovely white fluffy clouds indicate that blue skies are ahead as the aircraft manufacturer approaches approval for the plane. What's been happening lately? Well, the aircraft has seen a notable advancement in the certification race, following a query that concluded that included two vital regulatory bodies currently assessing the 777X program, that being your Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, or EASA. The very query put questions towards Boeing, and probably more of them than answers, at a time when there were crucial design features on the upcoming wide-body plane that had some pretty big scrutiny. A specific focus was put on the flight control systems of the jet, which wouldn't make it the only type, seeing its flight control systems coming under heavy emphasis, with changes and governing bodies needing plane makers to stay between goalposts. Now, however, Boeing says it has concluded such a query in a positive manner and can move ahead with the 2025 certification. The current guidance issued by the plane maker, which would be a five-year delay ultimately to the program. But at this point, you could definitely argue that simply getting the jet out to the public at any cost is a top priority. Boeing added at the 2023 Paris Air Show that the testing phase has been going well, and a fourth 777-9 unit will join the testing program later this year, each completing different missions and being configured in specific manners to work their way towards certification as soon as possible. It is no easy process, and that's why so many question marks surround Boom Supersonics Overture and their ambitious two-year turnaround from first flight to certification. When Boeing and Airbus are struggling to certify their own new aircraft, you can imagine why people believe Boom simply won't be able to achieve this, let alone question marks surrounding if the aircraft is even real. That being said, as an aviation enthusiast, I rarely share my actual thoughts, but I must say I'm thoroughly excited to see the Boeing 777X enter service. There's just something about the plane, whether it's the folding wingtips, its status when you see pictures and videos of it that makes it so incredibly amazing to see. And while I probably won't fly on one for a very, very long time, and maybe if not ever, I definitely am excited to see it at my local airport, and I'm sure you're the same. So hopefully 2025 comes around sooner rather than later, and I'm sure we'll all be crossing our fingers that there are no further implications to the certification program for the 7779, because ultimately the 7779 is the first variant of multiple in the broader 777X series. That includes your smallest variant for the passenger type, that's the 7778, and eventually we have that 777-8F, the freighter version which was recently launched and is part of Boeing's next generation of freighter planes, and they're betting on this to go up against the A350 and be the answer to so many companies' needs for cargo aircraft for many decades to come. So, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. We've certainly had some positive news regarding the 777X for the first time in a while. Do you believe this is a great building block for the plane maker to push on and really hit that 2025 entry into service? Or do you think storm clouds are still hovering over in the distance and could at any moment potentially impact the American manufacturer? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for your support. I hope you've been enjoying the extended coverage of the air show, and I'll see you next time.